The thing that's always turned me on about chemistry, even as a young person, was the fact that if I make a new compound, I can be the first human to see that combination of atoms and the crystal structure and the like. This creative passion drove Fred Hawthorne to invent a new field of chemistry using the little known element, boron. Created through the force of the cosmic Big Bang, boron is found in very small amounts on Earth and always in a compound state. While working for Rahm and Haas, Hawthorne researched boron hydrides for use in rocket propellants. The nice thing about this was that no one else in the world knew much about boron chemistry either. This was a, an area which was just beginning to come on stream with the military research people. While their high energy potential made boron hydrides attractive test candidates for rocket fuel, boron-10 also caught the attention of cancer researchers. At the time we were doing uh, our work in Huntsville, the National Cancer Institute was beginning to support some researchers in the area of boron neutron capture therapy for cancer. You place that boron-10 atom in the cancer cell, and then you hit this with a slow neutron, and the boron-10 captures the neutron and goes to a unstable, excited state of boron-11. Boron-11 fissions into lithium and helium ions, which kill the targeted cancer cells. Now in preclinical trials, this novel therapy is one of the many projects Hawthorne is developing at the High Tech Institute of Nano and Molecular Medicine. I'm pretty passionate about chemistry. I guess you have to have faith. I think that's the main thing you've got to have.